All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up a VPN server on your unified gateway. I'm gonna be doing this on the Dream Machine Pro, and a VPN server really allows you to securely connect back to your home network or even a good business network and be able to access things remotely as if you're on a network. It's a great way to get all the features and services that are on your local network without worrying about opening up unsecured ports to the broad internet. So we're going to be setting up an L2 TP VPN server, which is a standard that almost all devices can connect to. iPhones, Macs, Windows computers, Windows phones, Android, you name it, it probably has a really simple built-in client for connecting back to these. And to set this up, all you really need are two different things. First off, you need an IP address or a host name that is not gonna change for your home network. If you've got a static IP address like me, I would highly recommend setting up a DDNS server. And the last unified video I did was on that. So go ahead and watch that. And it basically allows you to have an address on the internet that forwards all traffic to your home's IP address and will update quickly even if that home IP address changes, in which is the case when you've got a non-static IP address. And the second thing is, your ISP has to give you access to ports 500 and 4500 UDP because that's what the VPN server is going over. All right, and so once you've got those two things, all you have to do is log into your router. And as you can see here, I'm using the new Unify dashboard. And so it's actually really easy to use. We're just gonna go into settings. And the first thing you need to do is actually create a radius server, which is under gateway and radius. You're going to first have to enable radius server and create a shared secret. And so this shared secret is kind of the first line of defense for this network. Basically, you're going to have to be able to give this to every single person who's gonna be a user on here. And that's gonna be their first authentication. It's not as secure as something like a certificate, but it's good enough for most people. Now just create a new user for every single person you would like to be able to connect to it. So I'm gonna give myself one and set up my password. Then I'm not gonna be on a VLAN. And for tunnel type, I'm gonna do L2TP. And for medium type, I'm just gonna use IP4 and just click done. So now we have a first user. So now just click apply changes. And now we're gonna be able to set up our VPN server. So go into VPN and click VPN server and just click create new server. And so we're just gonna set up a basic VPN. So we're gonna say the VPN name and now create a subnet. We're gonna do 10.5.0 dot one slash 24. If you don't understand subnet, this will work for you just fine, most likely. But basically you need to make sure that it's on a different subnet than what your local network uses. And so 10.5 is way out of the scope of most people's local networks, so it should work for you. And just click done. All right, and so just like that, it is set up. We can go through and see some of the more advanced settings right here. And we can see that the pre-shared key is gonna be the same as what's on the radius server. We can see the subnet here. We can see the DHCP settings. So if you've got a home DNS server, you can set that up here. So I run a DNS server on 10.0.1.40. And so I'm gonna set that up as the primary DNS server. And then the backup is Google's 8.8.8.8. .8 so for radius settings, we're using the default profile. So we're just gonna click apply. All right, and so now our VPN server should be completely set up. All right, and so now to test it out, I'm getting off my home's Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect back to local assets. So I'm on an iPhone, so I'm gonna click Settings, just go down to VPN, and we're just gonna click Add VPN Configuration. Type, we're gonna do L2TP, Give it a description and under server, I'm going to do that will dot space rex that I set up in the previous video. And so for account, I use will. And so for password, I'm going to type that in now. So the screen's going to be completely blurred and secret, same thing. And we're going to disable send all traffic because we really just want local traffic on there. And we don't need a proxy or anything, and so we're just gonna click Done. 
And so now, let's go ahead and connect to it. As you can see, I'm outside of my local network and I've successfully connected to it. And so now what we need to do is connect to some assets locally. So I'm just gonna go over to Synology Drive and do that. And so just like that, we can see that my Synology Drive loads and I can do anything. Everything's working just fine. And so that means that the VPN is working because I'm able to access things that would otherwise be only local. And so this is a really easy way to allow employees or just people in your household the ability to connect back to the home network and access anything they need to locally. If you're on sketchy Wi-Fi, you can even use this as a VPN server to route all your traffic through to make sure you still have an encrypted connection. All right, well, that's all there is to it. You now have this configuration set up and it will work no problems whatsoever. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make, especially Unify ones, in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.